Hi and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how you can do basic troubleshooting of the email reporting widget. One of the most common errors is that the script is not uploaded, the script is not uploaded to the correct place, or the server does not have rights to actually execute the script. Um, this sounds very very technical but it's actually not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can do basic troubleshooting in Internet Explorer, in Google Chrome, and in Firefox. So, if we'll we'll start with Internet Explorer. If you hit F12 on your keyboard, you would open up the Developer Tools. Um, the Developer Tools has a number of different tabs here. The one you're interested in is the one called Network. So you would switch to Network, and you would click Start Capturing. Now we have our course loaded, so we're just going to answer the questions as we go. Just do it very quick here. Type something in. Doesn't really matter if we pass or not, so. Let's see, there we go. Alright, and now we're at the crisp result slide, and what happened is that the widget is trying to send the data to the script, and if you notice down here, there's a, a new line appearing here, and you can see that it's trying to find something in slash test file, slash email test, slash send mail PHP. That's the PHP script, and the result is listed here in red as 404. 404 is a, like a not found error. Basically, what you get if you write a uh, incorrect website address, etc. So the the widget could not find the script. This is because the widget is not uh, sorry the script is not uploaded to the proper location. So this is what you need to go to, to go do right away. We can double click the the uh, the line here, and we'll get a lot more information. You have some request headers, blah blah blah. All that's not really interesting for us. But if we go to the request body, the request body is all the data that the widget tried to send. So, as you can see here, the widget is actually trying to send lots and lots of data to the script, but it just doesn't work uh, because it can't find the script. This is a clear indication of the widget is working. The widget is working correctly from when Captivate, and you set it up correctly, with the only exception of that the widget cannot find the script. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you actually uploaded the script to the correct location and try again. So this is how you would see that using Internet Explorer. Um, now let's switch over to Google Chrome, and Google Chrome has some developer tools as well. Um, so I'll just go here, let's see, what are they called? Tools, tools, tools. So that would be Control shift i to open it. And again, you have a number of tabs down here. Uh, we're interested in the Network tab, so we'll switch to Network tab. This one already records from the beginning, so there's no need to actually uh, start capturing like we need to do in Internet Explorer. So now we'll just run through the answers uh, to the questions once more. And when we get to the resource slide, you can see yet again another al a line turning up in here, and it's all marked in red. The status text is 404 not found. The script hasn't been found. We can click on the send mail PHP file over here. Now you get my custom 404 page. That's not really interesting. Um, but if you go under to the headers section, we can open it up here and you'll see status code 404 not found and you'll see something called form data and form data is all the data that the widget tried to send to the script 
and again we can see it contains the quiz data if we scroll down a bit contains all the stuff that we actually set up in Captivate so again the widget is working in Captivate you set it up correctly with the exception of the script being in the wrong location and finally let's go to Firefox Firefox has a developer tool as well so I'm going to show that right now there's a net uh, network tab here and we'll just get through and we're getting to the result page it says sorry you failed but in here you see a, a line just turned on in here post and it's trying to post something to the sendmail.php and you get the 404 not found error code so basically the same as we saw on the other browsers we can't find the script this is something that is essential to troubleshooting the widget and if you have problems with the widget you don't receive emails etc this is what I'm gonna ask you to do when you contact me because that's the only way I can see if you actually set up the widget correctly uh, that and giving me the debug logs um, but it's very important that you know how to do this if you're using the ASP version this functions in exactly the same way uh, the the only exception is that it wouldn't call sendmail PHP, it would call sendmail.aspx. Um, however, with the ASP version, you the server is likely to return different types of errors, which you won't see with the PHP version. In PHP, what you will see is 200, OK, which is when the widget finds the script and everything is working as intended, and 404 not found, uh, which is when the widget can't find the script in ASP you could get a lot of different um, error codes because ASP servers have been set up completely different it could be that the widget actually is able to find the script but the script doesn't have sufficient rights to send an email on behalf of the ASP server which would indicate that it's a, a configuration problem on your ASP server it could be that the SMTP emailer you use on your ASP server requires uh, additional amount of data uh, that the widget uh, doesn't send. In that case, you would get an error message as well. So, but the ASP version is a bit more complicated to work with. PHP is by far the easiest. Um, what what I have, so I hope that um, this is uh, something you can use. And um, thank you for listening.